years have ensured the residents of Eckland have never gone without bread or milk and residents past and present came along to show their appreciation. For half a century, Bill and John McKinnon have opened the Eckland store at 9, closed at 5.30, trading for half a day on Saturday. They've seen plenty of changes. Petrol's gone from 13 cents to more than $3 a gallon. But these brothers have had to deal with issues more pressing than inflation. Things like that and telephones have got better. Most of those types of things. We have seen, we adding have seen the... Adding machines and things like that. It doesn't help me anyway. <laughs> We don't have to re resort to the pencil, I mean, when you, when you have calculators and things. We're not quite into, into uh, computers yet. They were forced to rebuild the store after falling victim to the Ash Wednesday fires. And being the only store in town, it suffered its fair share of burglaries. On one occasion, we, uh, we appeared at the court case where the, uh, the people charged were there, and they were wearing jumpers and, and uh, shirts and things that they'd stolen from here at the actual court appearance <laughs> and they look very nice on them too. There aren't as many customers as there used to be but the boys say at their age there's enough to do, now even allowing John time to perfect his musical interests. These days Eklund has a population of just 100. The school has closed and the younger people tend to move away but John and Bill and the Eklund store plan to be here for a few years yet. We think we might try and get to the 2,000. Is that a fair enough statement? <laughs> I, think, I think if we can make, make the year 2,000, we might call it quits then. Jane Culvert, Win News.